Back in the days when I was an eighth grade Rebbe, I had the great privilege of teaching several grandchildren of Rav Shimon Schwab Zatzal. And at one of their bar mitzvahs, he said a really profound thought on this week's Haftorah. Uh, the Haftorah relates the story of Shimshon Agibar, of Samson, and it relates how his mother was approached by an angel and was informed that she was going to have a child, and that child was going to be a great savior for Klal Yisrael, for the people of Israel, and he would have to be a Nazir all of his life. And a Nazir is one who refrains from drinking wine, cutting their hair, and that was the instruction that she got. So she, she, her husband comes home, she relates what happened, and he prays to God and he says, please send the angel back again. Uh, I need some more instruction from him. And the angel comes back and tells uh, Shimshon's father, Manoach, something that all of us should know by now. Uh, Listen to your wife. That's basically what he says. Mikola, whatever I told your wife, you should do. So there, Rav Shwab asked several questions. First of all, if he wanted to find out more about the rules of a Nazir, he should look in this week's Pasha, Pasha's Nasai, where it discusses the halachas of a Nazir. Uh, secondly, he really didn't add anything. What did he say? He said, whatever I told your wife to do. Um, so <clears throat> what was the purpose of him coming down again? Didn't he trust his wife? Rav Shwab says a fascinating insight. He says as follows, that, that wasn't his question. He knew what the rules of a Nazi was. He trusted his wife. What he wanted to know is, he said, how can I possibly raise a child with a set of rules that I don't keep myself? My wife and I don't observe the rules of being a Nazi. We're going to drink wine. We're going to take haircuts. I'm going to tell this kid that he should do something that we're not doing. We're going to talk the talk. We won't walk the walk. How can you possibly raise a child like that? Says Rav Schwab that the angel responded the second time around, he says, you know what, you're right. Whatever I told your wife to do, you should observe as well. Whatever instructions I gave your wife for your son, you should observe as well. Because the only way to really raise a child with good values, with a good value system, with the Torah values, or any values of that matter, are to really walk the walk yourself. Have a wonderful Shabbos, everyone.